हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस रेजिस्टर रियलाइजेशन यूजिंग स्विच कैपेसिटर रेजिस्टर रियलाइजेशन यूजिंग स्विच कैपेसिटर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन आईसी टेक्नोलॉजी इफ वी वांट टू मेक ए रेजिस्टर इन आईसी then it will acquire a lot of area so it's not acceptable so there is an alternate way to represent a resistor using swiss capacitor first we'll see two source VA connected with a resistor and VB so if you want to find out the current passing through this resistor IR then we can write ir equals to va minus vb by r so r resistance is nothing but the va minus vb by ir now from here you can see that current ir equals to voltage by resistance now resistance if i want to make using a swiss capacitor let's see so take this same VA this is capacitor CS VB now if we put to switch here suppose this is phi 1 switch this is phi 2 switch then if we change this alternately first if we switch on this switch then this capacitor will charge through VA and that means phi 1 is on phi 2 is off then the capacitor cs will charge through va now second case if phi 1 is off and phi 2 is on then through this it will discharge now when alternately if we switch on and off then charging of this capacitor charge across this capacitor if we write q of t then that equals to cs into v of t charge is nothing but the capacitance and voltage now we also know current average current passing through i average is nothing but but dq of t by dt current is dq by dt change of charge we can write that d 
in C S B of T by D T. Then we can write this C S is constant. We can write here then D V of T by D T. So if voltage is derivated with respect to time. Now here if the switching time is smaller that means if the time period t is small then we can write this as cs v is the d dv dt is the change of voltage in in a small time period so you can write that c s into dv by dt is change of voltage so v a minus v b with respect to smaller time period t t is your time period so we know 1 by t is f f is clock frequency so t is the we are naming that t is the clock so further we can write from here we can write 1 by t equals to f so f is the clock frequency so c s f into v a minus v b that is i average now if we see this equation 1 and this equation 2 then from there you can see realize that if we, we can write it by this way v a minus v b by i average equals to 1 by c s f clock okay so this is nothing but t clock by c s so v min a minus v b by i is nothing but that is resistance so we can write our equivalent resistance equals to t clock by cs so we can find out resistance from swiss capacitor where switch is having the time period t clock now if we change t clock then resistance value also will change now take a example we know this is v in this is v out this is our reference if i name now this is inverting op amp now inverting op amp from there v0 e can write v0 equals to minus rf by rn into vn so if we represent this rf and rn with the switch capacitor then we can draw this
this now we can represent this rn with a switch capacitor rf with a switch capacitor so from there we can find out rf and from here we can find out rn now if the clock frequency phi 1 phi 2 uh, phi 3 phi 4 all are same phi 1 equals to phi 2 equals to phi 3 equals to phi this is 4 phi 4 phi 1 equals to phi 2 equals to phi 3 equals to phi 4 and cs1 equals to cs2 then, then r n equals to r reference so v out will be minus v in okay now if we put at that switch we can represent switch with a mosfet so if i see the circuit of a switch capacitor this is the circuit we can represent it with this is ba this is vb we can represent it with a b a b b so if the clock of m1 transistor m2 transistor f2 if m1 and m m2 clock frequency are same then accordingly so if we do that for m1 for m1 clock take m2 clock They are M1 and M2 having the clock frequency are same time period of M1 and M2 that means phi1 and phi2 are same and we can change when this M1 having these two are in channel MOSFET so when we are getting low input across this phi then this m1 will be off and m2 getting the higher potential so m2 will be on so alternately m1 on and m2 will be off or m1 will be off m2 will be on by that way capacitor will charge and from there we can get the equivalent resistance so by that way we can represent a resistor resistor using a switch capacitor and we can replace this switch capacitor using switch capacitor we can replace the resistor and we can make the circuit so this is the alternate way how to represent a resistor using a switch capacitor now what are the advantages of this switch capacitor first of all very high value resistor can be achieved by using a small area so if we want to realize a very high value resistance within the integrated circuit using a very small area that we can do it is temperature and process independent third point is its transfer functions 
with negative resistance can be obtained. We can obtain negative resistance. Fourth point is provides better register value in terms of tolerance, in terms of matching, in terms of good temperature coefficient, in terms of better voltage linearity. Also, it has wide range. So, if we change the clock time period and we can change the resistance value we can increase or decrease the resistance value depending on the clock time period so if we want to make a reconfigurable hardware where time to time we require different resistance values we can do using this switch capacitor or we can change the clock time period and we can realize a resistor over there okay thank you